Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is leaf under budget and it is an easy level problem. So the problem statement says that we have been given a binary tree and we have also been given a budget. Now we have to assume that we are currently at root node and we need to maximize the count of leaf nodes that we can visit in our budget if the cost of visiting the leaf node is equal to the level of that particular leaf node. So if you have a look at the examples, you will realize that uh, they are starting the levels from 1. So this node 10 is at level 1, this, these nodes 8 and 2 are at level 2, these 3 nodes are at level 3 and so on. Right. So they will be starting the levels from 1 and this is a very important point to note. And let us see uh, what we have to do in this particular problem. So if I take this particular circuit test case. So this is the binary tree that I have. Now this node is at level 1, these two nodes are at level 2, this is at level 3 and this is at level 4. Right. So I have to count the number of leaf nodes I can take under my budget. Right. So first of all let us find out what are the leaf nodes. So you will see that this is going to be a leaf node since it does not have any children. This is also going to be a leaf node and this is also going to be a leaf node. So a leaf node is a node which does not have any further children. Now if I note down their levels, so the first is 3, then I again have a 3 and then I have a 4. Now my total budget is going to be 8, so it is always optimal to take the nodes with the smaller level first. Right, there is no other way you can form a better answer than this. You might get a same answer as well, but you will never be able to form a better answer if you try any other approach. It's just a simple greedy algorithm that you just have to take the nodes with smaller level first. Right. So if you do this particular thing continuously, you will be able to find out what is the correct answer. Now the only task in this particular problem is to find out the levels of all nodes and for this you can just do a level order traversal. So why would we prefer a level order traversal and not any other traversal? Because the first reason is if you do level order traversal, you will get all the nodes of a particular level at once. So you will be getting all the nodes of level 3 at once and then you will be getting all the nodes of level 4 at once and so on. Moreover, whenever you do level order traversal, you will realize that you will be visiting all the nodes of level 1 first, then level 2 and then level 3 and so on. So the greedy algorithm that you were trying to apply will be placed automatically because we will be visiting the smaller levels first. So we don't have to do anything, we just have to do a simple level order traversal in this particular problem. So we do a simple level order traversal and while traversing we just have to check if there is a node. If node is leaf node, so I am just writing it like a pseudo code. So if node is equal to leaf node that means I can try to take this particular node and obviously I can only take it if my level is less than equal to the value of k. If it is true, if this is true that means I can try to take the correct node. If I take it, my budget will, is going to get reduced by level and my answer is going to increase by 1. Right. So this is exactly what you have to do in this particular problem. Now if you don't know how to do level order traversal, it's very very simple. You can just use a simple queue. So this time we are just going to use a pair of node pointers. So the first part of the pair will be a node pointer, the second part will be the current level of this particular node. Right. So once we have this queue, we are just going to push the root node into the queue which is this particular node and each node is going to push its children at the end of the queue. Right. So this is just similar to what we generally do in a BFS and this is the only thing that will have to take any node and push it and push its children into the end of the queue and obviously when you push the child you will have to increase your level of that particular child by 1. Right. So let me show you the code and it will be much more clear to you. So you see what I've done is I've initialized my answer variable with 0 and I have a queue which is a pair of nodes and integers. So this is the node pointer and the second part is integer. Now I have to push the starting element that is going to be the root node and the levels are starting from 1. Now while my queue is not empty, I'm just going to take my current node and level. So I'm just going to take the queue.front and store those in these variables current and level. Now I am going to pop from my queue and if my left child is not null pointer, I am just going to push my left child and increase my level by 1. Similarly, I do the same thing. I push my right child and increase my level by 1. Right. So if there is not a left child and there is not a right child, it means it is going to be a leaf node. 
and if it is a leaf node, I'm going to check if my level is less than or equal to K. That means if it is under my budget, I'm going to decrease my budget by level and I'm going to increment my answer. So at the end, I can just return my answer and that would be a final solution of this particular problem. So let me just quickly submit this and show you that this code works. So you see it passes all the test cases and the solution is absolutely correct. I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did and consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and need to be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. In case you're one of them, then definitely consider subscribing. It's always free of cost and you can always unsubscribe if you don't find the videos interesting later. So share this channel with your friends and till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye-bye.